Maureen Tyson, horticulture graduate student at the LSU School of Plant, Environmental, and Soil Sciences, is going to be discussing her research in container nursery crops and irrigation technology. What problems is your research addressing and why is it important? We are concerned with the general over application of both water and fertilizers in the ornamental container industry. Um, uh, there's a de high demand for quality plants in this industry. Um, however, unfortunately, there aren't many easy ways for easy ways or tools for growers to use to monitor their efficiency. Um, a lot of them still kind of operate on this idea that if a little is good, a lot is better. Um, so we're mainly concerned with the uh, over irrigation aspect of this problem. There's a high demand for fresh water and um, water prices aren't expected to remain as low as they are now, nor are growers going to be allowed to consume as much as they are now. Um, in addition to consumption, there's also concern about nursery runoff. Um, and so over irrigation, first of all, it flushes out the nutrients that growers have already applied in the form of fertilizer. So again, we're wasting more of their money. Um, but in addition, it also moves those nutrients off of the property and into surface waters in the environment where they can cause problems there. So we're hoping if we can give them easier ways to monitor their efficiency, then some of those problems can be alleviated. What goals do you hope to accomplish with this research? Um, we want to not only be able to give growers better irrigation recommendations, but also provide them um, easy to follow and affordable methods for them to monitor their irrigation efficiency. And not a lot of that goes on right now in the industry simply because um, owning a nursery is a tough job already. And if if a method isn't easy to use and if it doesn't save them money, then they're not going to do it. How did you become interested in this particular subject matter? Well, I started working in horticulture about four years ago and I learned that I love to work outside and I love to work in plants. However, there wasn't any particular plant or aspect of their growth that I was really crazy about. So when I started my master's, I just kind of took the first project that my professor gave me and as I was setting up the experiments, I found out that I was having a lot of fun um, programming controllers and designing irrigation systems. Um, and so I just tried to merge those two passions into, into one where I could use technology to grow better plants, no matter what kind of plants those were. What are some of the most enjoyable parts of your research? Um, well, I'm out and about. I get to work outside and I get to move around a lot, first of all. I'm not stuck in a lab or behind a desk. Um, but also, I really love that this work can be really technical at times. Um, I love getting to program things, and although I'm a scientist at heart and I love to solve problems, I also like to tinker and design as well. Um, so I get to do a lot of that with this, um, with this position. Um, so this here is one of the pieces of equipment that I get to use, and it's, it's a data logger. Um, and I, get to, I actually get to use uh, quite a few of these, and each one has their own learning curve. Um, and it gets interesting because each of these loggers you know, can, can use many different kinds of sensors and, and uh, the information that you can take from each of them, uh, learning how to use it is kind of like solving a little puzzle. And um, that's what science is all about, is if you can appreciate the process of gathering lots of information and learning best how to use it, then research can be a very exciting career. Do you hope to continue to do work similar to this after graduating? I do. Um, my research has opened a few doors um, for continuing this uh, research, but getting to move it out into the field and getting to test it in the industry, and that's what I hope to do. Maureen is working with Dr. Jeff Beasley and Ed Bush in her project research and will be graduating in May of 2013.